Hello, and in today's video, uh, I'm going to take a look at the Lost Dungeon of Tonisberg, which is actually currently on Kickstarter. Now, I'm not sure if it's a continuation of the print of this edition or a new printing, um, but basically, this was available for pre order a while back, and um, as I say, it's now actually on Kickstarter. Uh, there was a previous um, first printing, uh, which at the time I, I didn't buy into because unfortunately, this is quite a high quality product and therefore comes with a bit of a price tag. And here in the UK, by the time you've paid shipping, um, yeah, it's got a bit expensive. So luckily I was able to get it just before the prices went absolutely crazy, but it was still a relatively expensive product. But as you can see, it's got this lovely gold embossed cover with um, some nice stuff on the spine as well. And um, yeah, the story behind this, from what I can understand, is it was a dungeon that was created either just before D&D &D came out or shortly after uh, by, I believe, someone in the sort of Blackmoor campaign. And um, it was presumed lost forever after being lent to someone and during a house clear out, um, all the bits got thrown away. However, there was, I believe, a copy of it that recently turned up um, possibly during the filming of the secrets of blackmore documentary which is excellent i recommend you go check it out and um yeah we've now got a copy of it here now if i remember correctly we start off with the facsimiles of the original scanned copy then the modern reprinted sort of version of it and also some basic um sort of classic old school uh, dungeoneering rules and one of the big draws of this is the sort of guide in it to how the game was originally conceived to be played before corporatized and uh, turned into like AD&D &D and then all the subsequent editions leading up to the current fifth edition. Now it's got this lovely old style artwork here very nice I do like that. Then um, you've got a bit in here about respecting boundaries and expectations, a little introductory bit here, the table of contents, so uh, time before RPGs, losing and finding, so yeah, there you go, I, I thought there was some stuff in here, so um, you've got some really interesting sort of old-fashioned style cartoons which are very familiar and the font is very familiar, very OD&D basic expert D&D vibe. So welcome to history, how to use the book, time before RPGs, very nice. And then here you go, this is actually a, the sort of original dungeon. And as you can see, it's got all sorts of weird lines and um, coding, which is not quite what you may be familiar to if you played classic D&D. And as you can see, there's page after page of this stuff. And um, there's actually an example of play coming up as well which is quite useful so yeah um here's an example of plays quite a lot of stuff in there let's skip forward a bit so then you've got some events and rules if i remember correctly um yeah it's just loads and loads and loads of bits then you've got some stat blocks then we've obviously got the sort of modern styled maps um, much more to maybe modern people's tastes then we definitely get into the actual rules in a short while here where's so rules to play with so this is actually a set of rules um and the way i was brought up on um D &D, there are no rules um basically these are rules designed to be a framework but they are not the bible of commandments that thou shalt not disobey them and that's the way I've always played my rules. You know, um, I know for some people that's anarchy, um, but, you know, that's just the way I prefer to play. And it's why I've taken to hacking a lot of rules myself uh, these days um, to come up with my own system. So there you go. That is the rule book. And as you can see, the, the pages, the, the nice thick quality paper, it's a nice clear font. The artwork is old school, but very, very nice. And this cover is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's this lovely textured um, sort of cloth cover with a lovely purple place marker, uh, which I've actually got in the rules section. 
So yeah, do I think it's worth your money? Um, I think it depends on the sort of person you are. I mean, if you really want to look at one of the very early dungeons and a very early sort of way of playing D and D, um, yeah, it's probably worth a good hard look at, at picking up a copy. Um, I'm hoping they will bring out a PDF of this. Uh, at the moment, I believe it's only a physical product. I think a PDF, a lot more people would pick it up because it would be a cheaper and b um, you know much more accessible for a lot of modern players who you know I know a lot of people they, they just don't buy physical products I'm sort of the opposite I like to get a physical product and then have a pdf for referencing and maybe snipping bits out that to make my own uh, sort of gm screen and stuff um, so I think it is worth it um, the big problem is I think the postage is going to push it up to the price where it's super super expensive because obviously here in the UK getting stuff from an American Kickstarter you can almost whatever the price of the product is the price you're going to pay for postage so um, have a look determine for yourself uh, I do know a few people it's a little bit too pricey for what it is um, but I think they're missing out because you know when you actually hold it it's a lovely lovely product and it is sort of a limited edition I mean it's not super limited um, obviously you know if the amount of people who back it on Kickstarter will be how many copies probably get run off. But, um, you know, it's not the sort of product that loads of people are going to have just kicking about sometime in the future. And I really need to sit down and have a really good read of it, to be honest. Uh, I just haven't had time to do much uh, filming and thing. Well, you might say, well, you've had plenty of time. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot going on at work in my personal life and uh, with some studies that have now ended. So this product hasn't actually got a really good read because I'm hoping to actually run this some stage probably in 2023 and um, I might even try running it with my own D&D hack as well so I, I do like the look of the classic rules in here and I think for a lot of people that might be more of a draw than the dungeon but um, you're missing out because the dungeon is kind of a really interesting take on dungeon that's familiar yet different at the same time. Anyway I think I'm dangerously veering into the waffling territory so until the next one happy gaming